Marvel got some secret projects. Damn it, how did I make that fall? Whatever. Uh, let's see what the Cosmo Wonder has for us. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm your host, Warren Thompson, and Marvel Studios is going to be attending San Diego Comic Con this year, and they're also going to have a very large presence at D23. And we're expecting some pretty big reveals about the MCU at both of these events. Plus, not to mention, Disney Plus Day is also coming up, where we hope to learn a little bit about Marvel's Disney Plus shows that they have upcoming. Rumors have been going around that there are going to be some pretty big reveals, and recently, to top it all off, Kevin Feige, the president of Marvel Studios, has come out and said that we are about to learn soon how everything is going to tie together and which direction the MCU is going. So hopefully, that's what I was wondering. We're going to get a glimpse of all of this at SDCC and at D23. The only question is, what exactly is going to be announced at these events? Well, there is a very, very long list of all of the movies and shows that are confirmed, which we'll briefly talk about. But what's most exciting is the movies and the shows that have been rumored to be in development over at Marvel Studios. So that's what we'll focus on today. The okay. possible projects that Marvel Studios could be announcing at these major events that are happening within a few months. And if you're new to the channel and you love Marvel, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest news. Now, between all of the movies and Disney Plus shows that are confirmed, whether that's directly by Marvel Studios or a major trade outlet like Variety or The Hollywood Reporter and all of the movies and shows that are rumored, there are over 50 different projects that we have to talk about that are up and coming. After all, Shang Kevin Chi's face did looks fake. say that whatever they announce, <laughs> which is usually five to six years into the future, they actually have five plus years more than that planned out. So at any wow. given point okay. in time, Marvel Studios has 10 plus years planned. And if you think about it, Marvel <laughs> Studios is doing three to four movies a year, and they're doing about four to five Disney Plus shows a year right now as well. If we do a a low number and say that Marvel Studios is going to release seven projects a year, that means in the next five years there's going to be 35 different MCU projects that come out. And again, that's a low number and Marvel Studios has 10 years planned out right now. Which is very, very exciting. So let's dive into everything that's confirmed already. We'll quickly go through this and then we'll get into the rumored ones. Hopefully some that are going to be announced at San Diego Comic Con or D23. Now, I think most people know this confirmed list, but in case there's a few on here that you don't know, let's go through all of them. Of course, the next one is going right. to be Thor, Love, and Thunder. That comes out in less than two weeks now. Please then we good. have Black Please Panther, Wakanda Forever, Ant-Man and the right. Wasp, Quantumania, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, right. The Marvels, Fantastic Four, Blade, Deadpool 3, Captain America 4, which is confirmed, Shang-Chi 2, which is also confirmed, a Thunderbolts project, and Spider-Man Homecoming 4, which Kevin Feige and Amy Pascal did confirm is okay, in the works. Right, right. Now, those are the confirmed movies. Let's talk about the confirmed Disney Plus shows, and it starts with okay. Ms. Marvel, obviously, that is out right, right. now, She-Hulk Attorney at Law, right. I Am Groot, Secret Invasion, The Echo Series, Loki Season 2, What If Season 2, Ironheart, Armor Wars, a Wakanda series that is untitled right now, Agatha House of Harkness, Spider-Man Freshman Year, which is going to be an animated series, Marvel oh. Zombies, which is also going to be animated, okay. a Daredevil series, and a Wonder Man series. That's a lot of upcoming projects. Who is projects Wonder Man? Never heard of him. Were one of those, or were there a few in there that you forgot about or maybe didn't know? That's 27 MCU projects that are confirmed to be coming. But now let's talk about the secret projects that Marvel Studios could be working on in the background that are rumored to be coming within the next few years or so. For movies, let's start off with Nova, and this could be on the confirmed list. It's been reported by some trade companies that the movie is coming, and Kevin Feige has said over the years that they eventually are going to do a Nova project. Okay. So even though this one is technically confirmed, Marvel hasn't really said anything about this, so it's going to be yeah, a rumor people, for now. But then we have an Adam rumor. Warlock movie that is rumored. Now, we know Adam right. Warlock is going to be introduced in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, so a movie that is about Adam Warlock would make sense. That would come after Guardians 3. Next rumored project is an A-Force movie, which is essentially a female Avengers team. And based off of the direction that Disney and Marvel Studios is going, I would definitely say that this is a big possibility. Now, the next one is the Young Avengers. Now, Marvel Studios okay. is definitely setting up a Young Avengers project. The only question is, is it going to be a movie or a show? We're unsure about that right now. Then we it's have an American Chavez movie, and a lot of people really...
Doctor Strange and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, so I wouldn't be surprised if this was true. And of course, a big one, Avengers 5. Now, we haven't really heard much about a new Avengers movie yet from anyone at Marvel. And there kind of isn't an Avengers team right now. But hopefully Marvel can shed no, some light on this at one of these events. Now, the next one's kind of interesting. A big Hero 6 film. And yes, Marvel does have the rights to do this. And I actually think a live-action Big Hero 6 movie would be pretty dang cool. But I don't know. Let me know what you think about it. We then have a Black Knight movie, which is pretty much confirmed. Kit Harrington okay. played Dane Whitman in The Eternals and in the post credit scene. They set him up to be the Black Knight. So a Black Knight project is definitely coming, but nothing has been announced yet. Now, the next one is a Black Panther 3 movie, which I'm sure they're going to do. A Black Widow 2 movie, which I'm not so sure they're going mm. to do. But it has been confirmed that Scarlett Johansson is coming back to Marvel, but she'll be directing a project. Perhaps it could be a Black Widow project oh. that is not focused on her directing. Black Widow. However, it could be focused on Yelena, mm -hmm. which I think a lot of people would really enjoy. Yeah. And we have yeah. a Blade I like 2, her. which is already rumored. A Captain Carter film, which I think a lot of people would like, especially yeah. after Multiverse of Madness. Captain Marvel 3, which I'm sure will I happen, like Doctor Strange 3, which I'm sure will happen, and Eternals 2, which is basically confirmed, but not officially. We then have an Excalibur or Captain Hopefully Britain. Hopefully that'll content. be good. And Marvel has <laughs> kind of dropped some Easter eggs already for Captain Britain, so I'm hoping this one ends up being true, and it looks like it kind of is going yeah, to be true. This rumors have already started opinion. circulating for a second Fantastic Four movie, which I'm pretty sure is confirmed, but obviously we have to get the first one before the second one comes out. Then we have a Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 4, in which... Eternals a lot of the original like Guardians team is not it's going to be a part like of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Something they were trying out. So I'm curious to see who the new team would be. Then a Hercules movie is being rumored right now, and this okay. one has some pretty good ground, especially since Thor Love and Thunder is introducing Greek gods, and plus Moon mm. Knight introduced Egyptian gods. It would make sense that a Hercules film would be in development. Okay. Then we have an Illuminati film that is rumored, and I personally hope that this is true, because we need yeah. a main MCU Earth 616 yes. Illuminati. Yes. But we need it done right, we need the X-Men a part of it, we need the Fantastic Four a part of it, we need the Inhumans, an Avenger. This could be one of the greatest teams ever seen on film. A team that doesn't actually get their butts kicked by the Scarlet Witch. Now here we have yeah. some movies that Marvel Studios is going to be doing with Sony. An untitled Black Cat movie, an untitled Miles Morales movie, which I'm sure just has to happen at some point in time. They yeah. can't not introduce Miles Morales. Yeah. So this is That's definitely, a cool poster especially right Especially after No Way <laughs> Home, where Jamie Foxx's Electro said, there's got to be a Black Spider-Man out there somewhere. Marvel is definitely working on Miles Morales right now. Then we have an untitled Spider-Gwen movie, which I really hope is true, because she yeah. is one of my favorites, and I would love yeah. to see a live-action Spider-Gwen. Then we have a Namor movie, which I'm sure is coming. Namor is going to be introduced in Wakanda forever, and I'm sure it's only a matter of time until he gets his own film. Plus, not to mention, he should be a part of the Illuminati because he is in the comics. Then we have a rumored Thor 5 film in which Chris Hemsworth just said that he'll play Thor until Marvel Studios essentially makes him stop. So, this okay. is likely. We then have a Century movie, and this has been rumored for actually some time now. I would now, love to see true. this. A Scarlet Witch solo movie, which is pretty much confirmed. Marvel is trying to keep it a secret, but a lot of the insiders have said, yes, they have heard that it is in development right now. Or yeah, it should be one. to be happening soon. We then have an untitled Spider-Woman film that... Okay. Olivia Wilde is going to be directing and this of course will be with Sony and then two big ones a World War Hulk movie which has been heavily rumored recently and of course an X-Men film. Now, the X-Men film is kind of confirmed. Kevin Feige mentioned mutants and X-Men at San Diego Comic-Con in 2019, but we don't know if they're going to be introduced in their own movie, in other movies, in a Disney Plus show. We have no idea at this point in time right now, which is why it's rumored, because we don't know if it's going to be an actual movie. At least not at first. Eventually, Marvel will, of course, do an X-Men film, but who knows how they'll start. If you have any good guesses, let me know in the comments down below. And that's all of the movies. Now let's talk about the rumored Disney Plus Show. Damn. Agents of Atlas. This one has been rumored for a while yeah. and is most likely true. The next one, though, Captain America The Last Mission, might not be so true, especially if you consider what Chris Evans has said in some recent interviews for a light year. It doesn't really sound like he's coming back. Unless mm. they are talking okay. about Sam Wilson's Captain America, but they're already doing Captain America 4 with Sam Wilson, so I doubt the series is true. But a Captain mm. Carter series could happen. It's not confirmed if it's going to be a movie or a show, but a Disney Plus show would make a lot of sense. Then we have a Damage Control, in which the DODC seems to be a kind of prominent group in Phase 4 so far. So this one has a high probability of happening. 
Then we have an interesting and pretty cool one, Daughters of the Dragon with Colleen Wing and Misty Knight. I think this would be a pretty cool show, especially if they did it kind of like a detective Never show. Heard of I would really watch this. Then there's a rumored Doctor Strange show, which I don't think is going to happen. I think they're going to stick with movies for Doctor Strange. But then we have a Ghost Rider Disney Plus show in which okay. they're going to introduce him, give him an actual check that out. story in the MCU. A Disney Plus show might actually work for him. We then have a rumored Heroes for Hire Disney Plus show, which I think a lot of fans would really enjoy and want to see happen. Then we have a Never rumored Howard the Heroes Duck show, and we've actually seen him okay. pop up in the MCU. He was also in What If, so this mm. might actually be happening. Then we have a very interesting one, a Journey into the Mystery Disney Plus show, which I would personally really like to see. Is. It originally started out as kind of a horror comic, but then it changed to more monster and science fiction. Oh, and if it's okay. going to be on Disney Plus, it won't be scary, but I definitely think that it would be a really fun series. We have a rumored Madripoor series, which would just simply make sense. It could focus on Sharon Carter. Then a Midnight Suns series, which I would love to see, but I think I might like a movie a little bit more. So I hope it's a movie and not a Disney Plus show. The next rumored one is pretty interesting, a Next Wave Disney Plus show. Now, Next Wave for Marvel was satire. It was extreme comedy. This often showed characters like Captain America acting kind of not so good, but kind of doing inappropriate jokes and things like that. Like I said, it's satire and comedy, and I think would be pretty funny. Then we have a rumored Rescue series and Rogue series, two separate ones, not together, but I'm not sure about these because, one, the X-Men aren't introduced yet, so I don't know about a Rogue series, and Rescue, well, I'm not sure Gwyneth Paltrow will do a Rescue series, but you never know. It would be cool to see what Tony Stark's family is doing after his death. Then there's okay. the Talo series, which is the city from Shang-Chi. Like there's Pepper. obviously a lot of history with Talo and that mystical city. I think it would be really cool to explore that. Then, of course, we have an Untitled Tin Ring series, which is going to be about Xi mm. Ling, and they set this up at the end of Shang-Chi, the post credit. And then there's also a Wen Wu Disney Plus show that is rumored to be happening, which I think would be really, really cool. Mm. We could see all that he did with the Tin Rings, including how he might have found them, because we all want to know that. Mm -hmm. And like I mentioned, there could be a Young Avengers Disney Plus show but we're unsure if it's a movie or a show and that's it that's all of the mm. rumored shows that marvel studios so, is a right lot now. wonder now these all come from some type of an insider i see why they've got enough stuff for us for the next 10 time, years a lot of these might not happen but at the same time a lot could happen so what are you most excited for on this rumored list what do you hope marvel studios announces soon let me know in the comments down below don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you can stay up to date on all things happening in the mcu for live updates, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof. That's a lot. That is a lot. But as you can see, there are several I'm interested in. Man. I want, I want, I want that World War Hulk, man. World War Hulk. Miles Morales. Spider-Gwen. Um, I'm curious... Um, about these young Avengers. We already knew they were going to do a female, or they, they want to do a female Avengers, so the A-Force thing makes sense. Ironheart. They, bringing in Ironheart, I guess, to be a part of the A-Force? I don't know, I'm just trying to think through all of this shit, so... Anyway, I'm very excited. This should be interesting. The future should be very interesting. Post comments down below. Let me know what you thought, though. And if you enjoyed my reaction to this news, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. 10 million subscribers. Woo!